In this video, we will discuss the diagnosis of a condition called IPMN of the pancreas, intraductal papillary mucinous neoplasm. We'll briefly talk about the symptoms, how this condition is picked up on the scans and what it looks like, and the role of endoscopic ultrasound in its, in its diagnosis and assessment. So here's a cartoon to better understand the condition. This is the stomach, the gullet, the liver, the bile tube, and at the back of the stomach is a gland called the pancreas. The main function of the pancreas is to produce a fluid called pancreatic juice. This is produced within the substance of the pancreas and it goes down tiny tubes into the main tube. So these are called the side branches and this is the main tube or the main duct of the pancreas. And the function of this juice is to digest the food coming down from the stomach and breaks it down. In IPMN, the wall of the tube, either in the side branch or the main duct, or sometimes both, gets replaced by abnormal tissue that does not function well and produces mucin, which is thick, sticky, gloopy, and causes obstruction of these tubes. So when that obstruction happens in the side tube, you can see that as a small cyst appearing. When it happens in the main tube itself, the main tube is affected in part or in the whole length, and over time, the pancreas function is affected by this condition. So now let's move to the symptoms. The great majority of the patients will have no symptoms at all, and this condition is picked up as a tiny cyst in the pancreas in one corner, usually of no consequence. However, patients may, may have symptoms such as abdominal pain, vomiting, nausea. This condition may trigger recurrent pancreatitis, giving rise to severe recurrent abdominal pain. And if left over time, especially in the main duct, it may cause the function of the pancreas to be affected to the point where not enough of the pancreatic juice is passing through. And this gives rise to diarrhea and malnutrition. Patients are equally at risk of developing diabetes. Now, it's also important that because this is a pre-malignant condition, I and mean, over the course of very many years, it has the potential to change into cancer. And that may have its own symptoms depending on its location. The commonest modality of how this condition is diagnosed is through a scan that is usually done for another reason. So I've shown a CT scan. MRI scan equally will pick up this condition with a high level of accuracy. So over here you can see the pancreas here in the middle of the picture and over here you can see two cysts in the pancreas which are probably side branch IPMN there's a dilated tube of the pancreas. This is the main duct. So this is a mixed variety of the disease in the same pancreas. And what's very rare is that you can see a cancer developing in the head of the pancreas, potentially related to the same condition. There are cer certain features of the cysts that are worrisome. So the first is the size. So if this condition is in the main tube, and the main tube's diameter is greater than one centimeter, then that is of concern. If this condition is in the side branch and that is three centimeters or, or bigger, then that is certainly of concern. And if the size of the cyst changes over time, then, then that is problematic. If nodules are seen within a cyst on a scan, then that is very concerning for developing malignancy. And finally, if the wall of the cyst itself looks thickened and abnormal, then again, that's an indication for potential cancer. So these worrisome features are noted on each scan where a cyst in the pancreas is noted. Lastly, when a cyst of the pancreas is found that is indeterminate, typically an endoscopic ultrasound is performed. An endoscope is a flexible tube that passes down the gullet into the stomach and parks itself right next to the pancreas. It has an ultrasound scanner attached to it, which, which takes very detailed pictures of the pancreas and of the cyst. A needle can come out and it can aspirate the fluid of the pancreas. So the fluid is taken out of the cyst and that is analyzed for certain chemicals, but also for cancer cells. And then biopsies can be taken where the material is examined directly for cancer. So an endoscopic ultrasound assessment of a potential pancreatic cyst is extremely important. The general way of diagnosing and assessing IPMN of the pancreas. I hope you found it of use. If you have any comments, please do share.